International Women's Day 2014 and in the midst of what is actually a war on women. I want to give a salute to everybody who was in the streets yesterday. You are here today because women's lives matter. Our lives matter. We stand for millions. Here in New York City, in Los Angeles, in Chicago, in Atlanta, in Houston, in the Bay Area, and then in places all over the world, people stood up.
websites. Our subject to pro anorexia websites. What kind of world is this? What kind of world is this? What kind of culture is this that kills women? You know, some of us took to the streets. Myself, I did this because I see how central this is to the whole nature of the system we live under. The enslavement of half of humanity is bound up with the division of society into oppressors and oppressed, exploiters and exploited, and the fight to liberate women is a very central and driving part of the fight to liberate all of humanity and to make a revolution to do that. And other people are out there coming from different perspectives, and that's really important that all of that come together right now in this movement to end pornography and patriarchy, the enslavement and degradation of women. I put myself in like a woman's shoes. I thought about it like if it was me, like if I was a teenage girl and I had got pregnant and I was in high school and my family couldn't really take care of the baby and I had like big plans, you know, I wouldn't really want, I would have to get an abortion because, you know, the stuff that I had to do in my life and I'm not ready for that type of situation. Yet, so I understood, so I came out, as you can see, a lot of people out here. And I'm, and I'm here because I strongly believe in these ideas and I believe that I'm for I'm pro abortion. And I believe that the war, the war on women needs to be stopped and women need to stop being degraded, degraded in America and all over the world. All of what we experience as women, we need to dig it up. We need to dig up the root that is called patriarchy. You cannot break all the chains. You cannot break all the chains. Except one. Except one. Over in Times Square, there were a couple of you know uh, young black you know young black guys that had come over. And then, and then said, well, but some of these women, they asked for it. Because of the way they dressed, they asked for it. And just kind of, I would just went right to them. Yeah, yeah, I guess, you know, there are these youth out here who are just asking for it by wearing their pants low. They're just asking to get murdered by the police by wearing hoodies. Guys like Jordan Davis, who were just asking for it, for playing their music too loud. And it was at that point that his friend was like, oh, yeah, wow. You know, as a member of the Revolution Club and a leader and a fighter and, you know, you know, putting forward a vision of emancipation for all of humanity that can't happen without with half of humanity being oppressed. Yeah, as a man, you know, and, and as somebody who has definitely been um, masculinized by society, I can say that porn is like your first introduction to sex. It's your first introduction to women um, and to the idea of what love, sex, you know, etc. should be. And, I, you know, I think it's very true kind of like what Andrew Dworkin says that, that porn is the, the training for rape culture. Um, in this society. This really needs to grow. It needs to be hundreds of people moving thousands. Soon it needs to be thousands reaching millions. And before long there need to be tens of thousands and millions of people actively taking part. Um, I would just say I know the issue is big and it looks scary and it sucks to be out here when there's so many people who object to it, but it feels great when you actually are in it. And the best time to start is now. Feels good. I came out because it's something positive. It feels really empowering and amazing. And I wish I could bring all my friends here to come to enjoy and spread this idea of feminism and revolution. The fight to change everything and the fight to make revolution. This is not something that we are waiting for later. This is right now. Making a revolution is right now. Standing up and fighting is right now. Changing ourselves changing our morality, bringing forward a culture that rejects all the putridness and misogyny of this culture and celebrates liberation and full emancipation of women and all people, that starts now. And I think this is what Stop Patriarchy is about. That that kind of determination and spirit and planning and opposition to this has to go on. So, and for the future, you know, like, just because you get pregnant doesn't mean you have to have a baby. It's your decision if you should have the baby or not. I think, you know, this movement is the right organization to be a part of. Come on, support. And for men, stop watching porn. It's not enough just to do things online or share things on Facebook and Twitter. Um, people think they can press a button and it gets uh, their opinion out there. Uh, what really makes change is getting out there on the streets, in people's faces, and bringing attention to this war, because it is a war on women. There's no time for silence and there's no time to leave it to someone else. We have to stand up and fight the scourge that affects women across the world, whether it be in your country in the U.S. or my country in South Africa, whether it be in the East or West. Uh, this is really, a, this is an amazing movement and I think more young females and any, more females should just join this and everybody should support this movement because it's really an important issue. And it's, the slave man woman needs to be